U.S. defense officials in Afghanistan say the last U.S. and NATO troops have now left Bagram, that is the linchpin of U.S.-led operations throughout the two decades of military engagement in the country. A ceremony at the airbase to mark the formal handover uh, will take place on Saturday. President Biden has promised that all American troops will leave Afghanistan by September the 11th. Well, we can cross live now to join Yugita Lamai, who is in Kabul. Uh, Yugita, give me some sense of the feelings, the reaction of Afghan people to the news that Bagram has now been exited by all US and NATO forces. Well, this is a vital moment in the end of international military operations in Afghanistan. And so everyone in this country knows that the withdrawal that uh, U.S. President Joe Biden announced is very near. Uh, the Bagram Air Base is about 30 miles north of Kabul, where I am. It's been a symbol of America's military might in this country. U.S. forces moved into the airfield uh, in December 2001. Uh, and at the peak of the U.S.-led war in this country, there were thousands of international troops stationed there and today you know all of them leaving uh, you know as I said a very significant moment a bustling city had grown around uh, this airbase um, and you know so it, it, you know the significance really that that the end of uh, international military engagement in this country is very close now. Yogita uh, the Taliban have issued a statement welcoming the news of the last U.S. forces leaving, but I would imagine that the Afghan government is feeling a, a little less positive. Any reaction from them? Well, we haven't had a formal reaction from the Afghan government to the development today. We do uh, know from uh, President Ashraf Ghani's um, uh, office that uh, he met with uh, the U.S. top commander in this country, uh, General Scott Miller, today. Uh, uh, the president's office has said that they discussed uh, continued U.S cooperation and assistance to Afghanistan and the new way forward. Uh, you know, again, we're not sure when exactly General Scott Miller will be here in Afghanistan uh, till what we've had officially from the U.S. military is that he retains uh, the authority to protect forces here. Is there a fear, Yogita, that the Taliban's military operations will be intensified, that the war that is still the reality for Afghan people could get worse now? Well, it has already been worse. In the past uh, you know, couple of months, uh, violence has escalated in this country. Uh, we know that the Taliban is fighting Afghan government forces in as many as 20 of this country's 34 provinces. Uh, hundreds are dying every week. Thousands are getting displaced uh, you know, and trying to move to places of safety. Uh, people are worried about what's going to happen once all international troops leave from here. Uh, you know, they're worried about a civil war break out not just between Afghan government forces and the Taliban but also uh, you know lots of other small uh, tribal independent uh, groups which also have militaries you know which might start fighting as well um, so yes you know a, a lot of worry here when you speak to ordinary people about what is coming in the next few months. Yogita thank you very much indeed for joining us from Kabul.